After buying Red Rover, uh, I ended up having about five large toolboxes full of tools in the lazarette and every time I needed to do a project I have to go back and open up at least three or four of them dig everything out do the project then go put it all away and it's not always convenient so about two years in I decided to you know I, how, how can I do something unique with uh, uh, and efficient with uh, tool storage and so came down here with a glass of wine and sat for about an hour and looked at all available spaces and kind of came up with a plan of of where I can put some toolboxes and some shelving. Um, there's a, a large vertical toolbox back here that I have permanently mounted with, uh, and then other miscellaneous uh, bins of nuts and bolts and electrical connections. The other thing that I found that was really great was uh, just quick grab wall mount uh, storage for the power tools and such. had some designed some um, aluminum shelves uh, to have made and installed directly onto the, the wall here they're actually uh, bolted lag bolted onto the uh, vertical furring strips behind the aluminum frame but then all sorts of stuff as you can see is in here bits um, uh, wrenches miscellaneous stuff uh, all of my wrenches, SEA wrenches are up in in this toolbox here had a aluminum U-frame uh, built to accept that and then bolted into the, the ceiling down here. This is the uh, Craftsman Toolbox with a, a U-frame, uh, again bolted to the ceiling, uh, holds all my metric uh, wrenches and sockets, just perfect for, for everything I need down here, easy grab, uh, locks, unlocks like that. The last uh, element of the tool storage is the aluminum uh, shelving here that I had made. Um, holds oversized wrenches, hammers, uh, punches, and other miscellaneous uh, things that you might need along the way.